Good afternoon, this is Rich Nelson with Allendale. We have a special update here for a USDA report recap. Uh, today was one of those monthly USDA reports, and certainly the numbers they gave us were very exciting, and uh, of course a lot of controversy on both sides, both bullish and, bull and, and bearish uh, spectrum here. So as far as action today, let's talk, uh, talk about corn first here. Uh, USDA did make some adjustments on old crop ending stocks. They lowered those down from a very tight 719 million bushel level down to 661 million bushels. So they actually lowered last year's drought damage ending stock number even lower here. So while that certainly was a little supportive, uh, USDA uh, surprised the trade a little bit today with a higher number for new crop production. Uh, yields were seen increasing from 154.4 last month to now 155.3. So that was inter interesting to see here. Keep in mind, though, the numbers did not come from a higher eastern Corn Belt number. The higher number actually came from the southern states, Kansas, Kentucky, uh, or say uh, Kentucky and uh, Tennessee, Arkansas, Georgia, all of those southern states, which we can't argue with, actually did have very good harvest numbers, uh, did increase these numbers here. But let's keep in mind, we have an October report lined up for us next month. Typically on this one, we do adjust acreage on that month report. So from the trades expectation, we will see maybe a little bit lower acres for corn lined up next month, as well as probably a slight revision lower in yields ahead of us here as well. But even with those kind of changes, these numbers are still very large numbers. They are record crops for corn. Ending stocks, when you're talking 1.8, 1.9-ish billion bushels, which USDA has right now, uh, these are some very low numbers here. And even if you make some minor revisions next month, which USDA probably will, it's still going to give us some very large supplies for corn. For soybeans, we do have quite a bit of, uh, of issues with USDA's numbers here today. Starting out with, number one, their old crop estimates. Uh, the old crop year for soybeans and corn uh, ended on August 31st here. Uh, USDA actually uh, made no change in their ending stock number for old crop soybeans. Left them at 125 million bushels, where they've been in every month since February. But our surprise here was the fact that this morning's weekly export sales report, which comes from a different branch of USDA, indicated we've already beaten old crop est estimates that US U USDA was using for exports. So keep in mind as far as numbers, starting out next month, we've already got a revision coming from us for this old crop estimate here. So our beginning stock for new crop will start out lower. Now on the new crop numbers here, USDA did lower yields and they lowered them exactly to the average guess, down to 41.2 bushels per acre. Uh, Allendale does expect an acreage change next month lower, as well as a lower change to yields. Keep in mind, Allendale's nationwide farmer survey suggested 39 bushel per acre yields. Also, these comparisons against Comparisons against 2003 weather, in which we've mirrored almost exactly this year, would imply we'll get down to 38 maybe in the next one or two months. So as far as soybeans, we're going to start out with a lower beginning stock number next month. On top of that, you've got some, some production revisions coming here in front of us here. So USDA's ending stock number for new crop right now, 150, probably will get down to the you know, last year's drought level, 125, if not a bit lower in the coming months here. So as far as prices, we do have prices right now rebounding to $14 uh, as the trade kind of dissects these numbers a little bit more. We'll probably see even plus $14 prices here. As far as wheat issues right now, we saw only a minor change in numbers today. Uh, only change we really saw here as far as uh, the stock number was a 10 million bushel increase from 551 million bushels to about 561 million bushels. Uh, this is not really a market mover by itself. These numbers are considered neutral, normal type of stock levels, and therefore we're probably not going to see much of a price reaction on wheat. So big numbers on corn, big numbers as far as soybeans to talk about here, but the answers are really not given to us yet. Uh, we have an end of the month, September 30th, grain stocks report. That's where USDA will give a full, complete version for ending stocks for the old crop, and then, of course, we have the October report in front of us. So this is only step one of a, two, of a two stage process in determining true supply. If you have any questions about this market, market in, uh, marketing in general, or anything else here, feel free to give us a call here at Allendale, 1 800 262 7538.